So you might recycle paper, you might recycle plastic, all of it with relative ease. Recycling computers and cell phones, that's a different animal. This weekend, though, it's a smart time to do it. Thor Schrock is the CEO of Schrock Innovations. Good to see you, Thor. Welcome you back. Yeah. Some people have enough old tech in their house, they could put a recycle bin in their kitchen and just throw it in <laughs> as they walk no by. No doubt. And yeah. cords. Familiar. You know how many cords I've got laying oh, around gosh, the house? Yeah. And you don't even know what they're for no. anymore. No. I, got a I got a box of them. Power see, supplies, that's adapters. I, I come from a family of people who... See the value in holding on to things for an extended <laughs> period of time beyond the normal lifespan yeah. of the, of the well, item. Uh, the reason I think a lot of people hold on to a, a PC, for example, you don't know what to do with it, so you just let it sit. That, and you, you, in some cases, these older ones, you paid a couple grand for that thing. Yeah. Yeah. How often do you pay $2,000 for something, especially in you know, 1990s dollars? Right, and then just throw it away. What? You're throw it away. About, a lot of people, they're worried about the information on there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, so let's talk about that because this is a good time. Uh, to start thinking about that. When is a good time to throw away a computer? Well, basically, you know, we have a lot of customers who will get a new computer and they'll keep their old computer as a backup if something would happen or go down. Mm -hmm. And that's fine as long as it's anything higher than Windows XP. Mm -hmm. So if it's Windows Vista or Windows 7, you can go ahead and hang on to it as a backup if that's something you want to do. Anything XP you shouldn't use at all on the internet anymore. Mm -hmm. Anything with an A, and you can tell there's a big sticker on the top that says Windows XP. Yeah. So you can, you can get rid of any computer with XP. It's not worth anything to anybody. The technology is not, is not new enough to be you, of use yeah. to anyone. Because that'll be a question for people. If I'm not using it, but can't yeah. I donate can I it to it? charity? Can I sell it yeah. online? And you're saying that's the line when you know the answer. Well, yeah, well, no. because basically there, there's a difference. Consumers, as a consumer, if you wanted to, you could take your old computer and the big monitor and the keyboard mouse and set it out by the trash can, and the trash man will come pick it up as long as one of your neighbors doesn't do it first. Um, and then you can get rid of it. But if you're a company, if you throw, if, if you're a church, for example, which isn't technically a company, but if you're an organization and you have a bunch of old computers and you throw those in a dumpster, it's a $30,000 EPA fine for every item you get caught throwing in the dumpster. And so is it because of the components inside? It's the EPA. It's a bureaucracy. Yeah, that, it's designed <laughs> to keep it from, from going That's into the, the short landfill. short answer. But right. uh, basically, you know, 30 grand for a keyboard, 30 grand for a mouse, 30 grand for a monitor, oh, 30 wow. grand for speakers. Wow. And I don't know if you they charge recycle. individually. I don't know. Right, you better but, recycle. And companies have to pay to have that stuff taken away. And so a lot of times churches and charitable organizations don't want old computers. Goodwill won't even take a computer yeah. anymore unless it's a complete functioning unit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, so it's ready to use. What about yeah. cell phones? Because in my top drawer, um, of, uh, in my bedroom, I've got, I think I've got four or like five cell phone? phones. Are right? we going that far back? I, got, no, I don't have the big block <laughs> phone, no, but I, got, I do have a couple flip phones in there. Bag phones came before the construction bricks. Bag phones are the right. phones like Columbo right. was using yeah. in the back of his Throw car. On your uh -huh. shoulder. Yeah. 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 The, uh, but no, that's a great thing because a lot of times there was an article that was just released uh, the previous week that said when you do a factory restore on, an, on a digital device like a tablet or a phone, that data is not necessarily deleted. Sometimes the, the, the memory is just reset. And so somebody like me can easily recover the data, mm -hmm. but more concerningly, somebody that has an off the shelf or even a freeware program off the internet can scan that and recover all the pictures, the text messages, the contacts, and everything off of it. And in some cases, the passwords and the stuff yes. that is truly sensitive. And that's sensitive. why destroying this information, uh, the, the actual device, is sometimes needed. Yeah, you know, and that's what I tell my customers. You know, if you have a first generation iPad, nobody wants that. Yeah. You know, honestly, nobody wants the first gen iPad anymore. Yes, you paid a boatload of money for it. Nobody wants well, it. Well, do you think anymore. it'll be worth something someday? Maybe a collector's item? Well, as, no, as you know, very first as I come from a family of borderline hoarders, <laughs> right. and my wife is the opposite of me, so we're a good blend. So she goes through my cable boxes and, oh, what's this cable for? Do you know what this is for? No, I don't right off the top. She throws it away. Yeah. Right. Then, of course, I go looking for my cable for something right. that I forgot I needed. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the power adapter for that? One because, you threw yeah, it away. Yeah. You know, you know, I'd have everything if I didn't throw it away. But, you know, basically, when it comes to cell phones and mobile technology and iPads and things like that, there were so many of them produced. It's a scarcity thing. Right. There, there's tons of them out there. They're not going to be worth anything. Just look to the uh, 1980s, the, the Apple II C's we played with in, mm -hmm. uh, in, in you know, grade school. We played Oregon Trail on them. Mm -hmm. What are those worth? Are they worth anything? No. Nothing. They're not worth anything? What, what's, an in, what's the original Nintendo Entertainment System? So it sold right. for no. 25 bucks. Right. That's right. What about yeah. old 8-tracks? Right from the 70s. Can I get some out of my but old 8-track I got? I think you'd do better with the entertainment <laughs> value. But that's a good point um, because we don't recycle 8-track players, 8-track right. right. tapes. Big screen TVs, mm -hmm. you record know, players, Wi Fi's, mm -hmm. you know, record players, things like that, and answering machines, satellite dishes, and mm -hmm. we, have, you know, all that stuff. You know, people bring it in, and if it's just a, one of our established customers who has just one thing, you know, we'll take it. But you know, we've on our previous recycling events, we've had guys pull up with truckloads of satellite dishes before, wow. and because during the recycling event, we take any computer equipment, 
and any cell phone equipment for free, mm -hmm. they're like, oh, I can get rid of this stuff, or a company will come with a truckload of monitors, and which is... not... This is computers uh, and like, cell Like, what about phones? a TiVo? I've got an old TiVo. It's got all my old... <laughs> is it a computer? Computers and not? cell phones. Yeah, it's got yeah. a hard drive in computers there. Yeah, we'll, we'll take your TiVo and, and recycle Thanks. it. How much it has does a hard it cost? Because you've talked about this. Um, typically, any other time of the year, it's going to cost you money to recycle electronics. Yeah, well, we take all computer and cell phone items all year long for free, except for the monitors, because the monitors we have to pay to get rid of. Uh, and we don't want them ending up in Africa. We don't want them ended up buried under a hill or in a landfill somewhere. That's what happens to a lot of the stuff that people recycle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so these actually get taken to a company in Des Moines that shreds them and smelts them and recycles them. They get taken care they of properly. They are recycled. And what it costs us money. So it's about $15 normally for one monitor. Um, but during the recycling event, which is going on Saturday and Sunday, you can get one monitor recycled for free. It doesn't matter how big it is. Wow. It doesn't matter if it's a flat panel or a CRT. You get one for free, but it's 15 each edition. The hard drives PCs. in there? What about the hard drives? Oh, the hard drives, when we get the computers in, mm -hmm. uh, first of all, we, we're going to have the guys from Data Destruction, Inc. out yeah. at our Lincoln Service Center right. on Saturday and our Omaha or our Papillion Service Center on Sunday. And for $5, you can actually take your cell phone or your own hard drive and drop it in the shredder and watch this. It, it shreds right. it like a piece you of paper. You take pictures? Yeah, yeah. yeah you take video. Fun people with it. a moment. Yeah, have you have right. fun with it. Shred it up. <laughs> otherwise, or, it's free. Otherwise, you if you just want to drop the computer off with us yeah. and you don't want to take the screwdriver and take the hard drive out and pay 5 bucks to shred it, we do destroy all hard drives before they ever leave our service center. If they're mm -hmm. the really old ones that, that don't even have an interface that's used mm -hmm. anymore, those get used for target practice. We have a backlog. We say, pull, you know. <laughs> Um, like a catapult? Yeah. Um, and I'm very accurate, so you don't is, have to worry. Is the recycling event active at all three locations? All three locations, right. all day Saturday, all day Sunday. But the data destruction guys will only be there from noon to five each day. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. On the 18th and 19th, com. those are the dates. So you've got this week to dust off whatever's been sitting in the if back of the closet. You don't even have to dust it off. No, you don't. Quarter of no the one ever does. No, <laughs> I know, I know. We get some pretty yeah. filthy stuff out of barns, out of basements. This yeah. is the time to this do is it. To get rid this of it. is the weekend to do it. Shrockinnovations.com. Thank you, Thor. Thanks, Thanks guys. All right, still ahead.